Hey, good morning, Dr. Rob. Another awesome and amazing day in the universe. How are you doing today? It is a spectacular day because we're in the alive category. And today, redo, consider something you don't believe in because your beliefs are all that drive you. Now, let's change a belief. Fiber is a fantastic source of health and energy. It cures all ailment, ailments and ill-ments too. Well, I'm here to share the possibility that it's all wrong. Fiber fuels the fire of inflammation, cancer, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, migraines. Let's go down the list that fiber, which is mostly undigestible carbohydrates and a ton of digestible carbohydrates that basically fuel your insulin and your inflammation and make you sick. But there's a drive there because the more you feel the fiber fire, you want more. It's a little like cocaine and heroin that I know most of us don't consume it, but if you did, you'd want it more and more and more and more. Ultimately, our mitochondria want fat and carbs convert to fat because the body is smart. It knows how to get your fat. But ultimately, if you're trying to learn a better way, get rid of fiber. That's the fruits, vegetables, and all that crazy stuff that you've been advised to take and consume in excessive amounts and Besides the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you have your snacks in between. Fuel the fire. While well, you are fueling the fire, you're fueling the fire with fiber and inflammation. Pretty interesting and amazing concepts that I didn't even believe in, but the more I've been doing this, concept of high fat, low carbs, no sugar, no fruits, fiber, or vegetables, I'm amazed. Now, that doesn't mean you never have them occasionally. No sweets, no snacks, no seconds, but just in special occasions. And don't make every day a special occasion, although every day is a special occasion because it's a special day. It's the now of life. Come on. We're changing it up. We're doing something we don't believe in. And I'm telling you, our experts have driven us into excessive obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, breast cancer, all the irritable bowel stuff, and the neurotic crazy stuff. Pick up a new book today. Today I've been reading a little bit of Maria Emra Keto Adaptive. And I'm amazed at that as I read and read and read. Check out Gary Tobbs, Good Calories, Bad Calories, Andres Sinfeld, Diet Doctor. The information is there. It's actually been there for a long, 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 long time. We're basically eating what our food industry and government tells us is good for us. And all it's doing is driving our medical needs and care. And it's... You know, you're fueling the fire with fiber and it's causing the inflammation that causes all the autoimmune diseases, you name it, all those unknown causes. It's the food we're eating, it's high carb and it's low fat. Add some fat and butter to your coffee, some full cream to your tea, 
have a thick, nice, beautiful, fatty ribeye with butter all over it and get rid of the variety of the fiber and fruit in your diet. Check it out. See what it's like. Do or do not, but trying, you know what Yoda says. God bless. Dr. Rob, another awesome and amazing day. Enjoy. And don't forget to check out Mind, Body, Smile, CMY Healing Arts, and more to come. God bless.